Screw you guys. I'm going home. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube series on how to create a PC gaming console. If you haven't seen parts 1, 2, and 3, then I recommend watching those episodes first. Links are in the description below. So we're going to get going here. We're going to need a couple of things. We need Cody. We need the Steam add-on for Cody and the Big Box add-on for Cody. Links in the description below. Be sure you have those before you begin. First thing that we're going to do is run Cody for the very first time. We've just installed it. We've never run it before. When we run it for the first time, we're going to see Cody updating a bunch of um, add-ons as we see there in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Once Cody is done updating those add-ons, we're going to go ahead and close Cody. We opened it so that we'd have the users Cody folder in the app data area, which I'll show you here in a second. So here we see there's the users app data. We see Cody is now there after having run Cody for the first time. So we're going to navigate into user data and we're going to actually copy a bunch of fan art from a different computer on the network to this computer. I like to have custom graphics for my Cody for all the different sections. So kind of share the fan art amongst all the different instances of Cody. You don't need to worry about this. I'm just doing this uh, because I like it. Okay, after we've copied the fan art into the user data area, we're going to launch Cody again. And then here we need to go ahead and install those add-ons. So we're going to go to System, Add-ons, Install from Zip File, and then we're going to browse to where we downloaded those add-ons, in this case in my user's downloads folder. We're going to install Big Box. Then once that's installed, we're going to install Kodi, same way, install from zip, browse to the directory, select the zip file. All right, when that's done, we're going to go to install from repository, which is the option above install from zip file. And here we're going to go to look and feel, skin, Aeon Knox and select Aeon Knox. Choose the install option. This may take a couple of moments. There's a lot of dependencies in Aeon Knox. This is going to give us a new look and feel that we have complete control over. We're going to be able to add any custom launchers, custom sections, custom areas. Um, much better than the default skin for Cody. Okay, so this will take a second. When it's done, it's going to prompt you and ask you if you want to go ahead and switch to the new look and feel. We select yes, you do. Now it loads up Aeon Knox and we're in the new skin. Okay, from here we're going to configure those add ons that we just installed. So we're going to go back to the main menu and then navigate to apps. Then in apps, we're going to go to Steam, bring up the context menu, that C on the keyboard or menu on your remote control. So here we're going to check the paths, Cody location, Steam location. They look good. So we're going to click OK. Context menu on Big Box, add on settings. We know the launch box path is going to be wrong. So change that to the path in which you have Big Box installed. If you don't have Big Box installed, don't worry about this step yet. Okay, now once that's done, we're going to go configure the UI a little bit. So we're going to go System, Skin Settings, Home Window, Aeon Knox Main Menu. We'll change that to Low, so the bar's not in the middle of the TV. It'll be at a lower position. Then we're going to go up to Set Up the Aeon Knox Menu, and we're going to go through and disable all these sections we don't want, like Live TV and Favorites. and custom and then once we've done that we're going to go edit the custom one list item here okay so here we're going to do default select action is add-on program steam and then the item background we're going to browse to a image file that we've already staged in that fan art directory for steam
OK, and then we are going to edit custom to default select action. We're going to be add on program big box. For the background, we're going to do multi image background so that we have a nice slideshow. Same thing. We're going to browse to that fan art directory you've already staged with a bunch of game images. That's going to be our source directory. We're going to change the label from big box to just games. All right, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and exit out of Cody so that all of our settings get serialized to disk. OK, once we close Cody, we're just going to reopen it. And now we're actually going to test these apps to make sure we've configured them properly. So we're going to go to Steam, click Steam. That should then launch Steam. All right, this all looks good. Steam is loaded. I think we're just going to peek around here a bit and just make sure that the big picture mode is working, which it looks good. All right, so next up, we're going to go ahead and close out of big picture mode. Uh, then back in Cody, we're going to go ahead and Launch Big Box here. Go to Games. Click Games. It should open Big Box. Um, if you don't have Launch Box or Big Box installed, obviously don't do this step because it's not going to succeed. But in our case, we have Big Box and Launch Box. So uh, we've kicked it off. It looks good. Everything's working fine here. All right. So we're going to exit out of Big Box. And then I'm going to just show you real quick. Uh, we have games set up, but we don't have entertainment set up yet. So uh, when we go to movies, it's empty. Go to TV shows, it's empty. Go to music, it's empty. All we have right now is just this, those game setup stuff. So here we're going to quit out of Cody. And then I'm going to go to another Cody instance that I have somewhere else in my house. And I'm going to copy some configuration files from that Cody to this Cody. Uh, Advanced Settings XML, Passwords XML, Player Core Factory XML, RSS Feeds XML, and Sources XML. I'm going to copy that over from a different Cody to this Cody. OK. Uh, you don't need to do this. This is just for me. Um, if Unless you're an advanced user, in which case you're probably not watching this video. Here we're just going to open up advanced settings. And I'm going to just demonstrate in my house we have a MySQL server. All of our media is stored. Uh, the details are stored in that database. All the Cody share that database. So I can bring a new Cody online. Anytime I want to, all I have to do is drop this file in that user data directory, and it will instantly see all my family's media, music, movies, TV shows, pictures, photos, all that stuff. Uh, here's the player core factory. I've configured VLC and MBCHC under some custom rules. The built-in Kodi player is fantastic, but there are some cases where I prefer to run VLC. So I'm copying over that file to give me that power be able to pick which player Cody uses at whenever I want. So here we can see we've reopened Cody. We're going to go to recently added movies and we see now we've got all of our movies are there. We didn't have to add any sources or scan any sources or or make a local database or do any of that stuff you would normally do with a standalone Cody. So here we're just going to play around uh, with getting this set up. So we're choosing which view that we want here for movies. We're going to play a movie with the built-in player just to show you, hey, the built-in player works perfectly fine. Um, you know, you can stick with that if you want to. Um, then we're going to go ahead and uh, close this movie out. I'm trying to figure out here. I don't have a remote. I'm trying to do this with a mouse. Okay, so then we go back. This time we're going to go play using VLC. And we see it opens in VLC just the same as it did with the default one. So we've got our custom players configured, so we're good to go there. OK, uh, these background images here are hideous, um, so we're going to fix that here in a minute. But uh, here I've gone to TV shows and I'm changing a couple of the views, having a tough time remembering which is the view that I like. Um, I think eventually here I do work my way down to banner wall, which is the particular view that I prefer for TV shows. Yeah, here we go. Banner wall. Yeah, that's that's the one that I typically prefer. OK, so we don't really like the spaceman image for everything, so we're going to go here into system. 
and we're going to go to skin settings and then go to configure the main menu and for each of these tiles movies music pictures tv shows weather apps system um, all of those tiles we're going to configure either a standalone image or a group of image images that we want to cycle as the background so that we don't have default space man there all the time um, so you can do this if you want to uh, or not it's totally up to you uh, but that's why we staged that fan art folder in the beginning so that we'd have all this art sitting there for us to just configure so here we are i mean i did went through that very fast uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments or if you want me to do a specific video or slow it down a bit just let me know um, but really we went from having absolutely nothing to having a brand new cody um, you know pc gaming console in 10 minutes 11 minutes of configuration here so that's pretty much what I have to show you here on the Cody setup. I, again, I went very fast, so hit me up if you want me to explain something you know, a little deeper. Uh, I just have a lot of experience with Cody and XBMC. Um, so, you know, if you want to know any advanced stuff, like how to make add-ons or any of these advanced features, let me know. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at configuring emulators. Uh, and getting that stuff set up, which is really getting near the end of, of really finalizing our perfect PC gaming console system. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.